Yeah, thanks, Neroli. We're going to just uh, go through and unravel it a little bit and just see what Simon Cadditch uh, thought about it in particular. I'm going to get straight into it so we can uh, just explain to you what our feelings was. First of all, I'm going to look at some overs between, and this is important to start with, overs 42 to 52. Now, in this period, 10 overs, there were only six runs scored. Let's just uh, take this a little bit further as we go along. Let me just get rid of my little arrow. And you'll see the red balls are the runs scored. So you can see there's plenty of blue balls, but no, uh, or not many, red balls, Cap. Yeah, just see with that graphic there, you can see that uh, uh, Pakistan erred in their line early on. They got a little bit wide to Warner, a little bit straight to Usman Khawaja. But in this phase of the game here, through the middle when the ball got softer, it was just good, disciplined test match cricket. Most of the balls here on a good length and bowling to a good, settled field that was spread across both sides. And that's obviously to the, to the left and the right handers as well. So let's uh, just move along and have a look at an area which is quite important. So that was really good. And what was happening at that stage is Pakistan were basically suffocating to a certain extent, the Pakistan batsmen, uh, sorry, the Australian batsmen. And I want to look at this area, reverse swing, because this is where it was really crucial. Just uh, move along and I'll show you where that reverse swing was coming in. So overs 12 to 22, not much there. Yeah, so basically when the ball started to reverse, and that was probably through that middle phase, if you can just bring that back up, please, Hazy. Coming the back. run rate early on, when the ball wasn't really swinging, was around four runs and over. Through the middle phase, it started to drop when that ball started to, to reverse. And we see here the Pakistan bowlers attacking the stumps, bowling a lot fuller, and they were able to shut the scoring rate down. But as the game went on, and they went to the tactics of bowling over the wicket, into the rough... That's when the Australian batsmen really started to score at less than one and over. As we can see in this phase here, that's when the ball was swinging at its most, 1.8 degrees, and that's when the run rate started to drop as well. Okay, so that was a crucial part, and clearly Pakistan could have continued with that reverse swing at that stage. They could have, and what they did do was that they went to the both spinners at both ends, and you can understand potentially why they were trying to do that. They felt that Australia had the best of the batting conditions, they wanted to slow the test match down, knowing that they'd only lost four wickets in Royal Pindi, and they backed themselves to bat well in the first innings here at Karachi. Okay, there's the, the angles they used. When they started to do this, they probably thought that the Australian batsmen would take it on like they did in Royal Pindi and potentially get out. But Australia didn't. They were disciplined. They rode it out. And I think Pakistan's mindset is that they're trying to take their first innings deep into day three, four, and then when the test starts to move, potentially on day four... When the third innings comes, that's when Australia are under pressure to try and up the up the run rate. One other thing they did, success right at the end where they picked up uh, Steve Smith. Look at this double well, the windmill from Hassan Ali. That was important. What do you notice that? Well, I think someone like Steve Smith who watches the ball really closely would have picked that there up. We go. There we go. But I think when you see there, that's not his normal load up. And as a result, it might have just lured that false shot from Steve Smith. But I think Pakistan would have been banking on the fact that if they could have picked up one more wicket late yesterday with that new ball, that would have justified the tactics of trying to slow things down with the two spinners. What they could have done through that period was use Norman Alley at one end to lock down and then rotate their quicks, their three quicks this test, rather than the two last test, and have three three overs each at the top end. Right, and of course they strike this morning, it's going to make it uh, all the better. Right, back to you guys in the middle.